the main source of water is the lake. Yeah, everybody uses the lake because there's no installation of water in houses. We use the water for almost everything. We eat bathing, washing clothes, utensils, and it is also a source of living for some people. My name is Benta Aumalamek. I used to do laundry at the lake and I used to love it because it's faster and it's also economical, you know. You don't buy water. I started experiencing some itchiness and uh, discharge. I was on family planning, so I thought maybe it's the coil bringing me all this discomfort. Personally, it affected me because you can't get intimate with your husband. Not only that, even doing business, you can't focus. FGS stands for Female Genital Schistosomiasis. Schistosomiasis or bilharzia is caused by a parasitic worms carried by freshwater snails that live in lakes, rivers, and ponds. The worms can enter the body through the skin, for instance, when fishing or bathing. Once inside the body, they travel through the blood system and lay eggs that cause damage to the reproductive organs. FGS can affect the uterus, cervix, vagina, or vulva, causing inflammation, open sores, and bleeding, and leading to serious reproductive health issues such as infertility. FGS also affects the body's immune response to HIV and HPV, a virus associated with cervical cancer. FGS mainly affects women and girls in marginalized rural communities who don't have access to safe, clean water. FGS can be prevented and cured if treated early. FGS has, uh, it made me to not to be free because it is not a good disease. It is not a comfortable disease as people think. It is a disease that it is hidden. At first, it started like feeling unwell, so I thought maybe it was a sexually transmitted disease. Then when I went for a clinic, I was told to go for a cervical cancer checkup. Then they found that the, that thing is there. My name is Nancy Ogweche. I'm a nurse by profession. I also support HIV testing services in Homer Bay County. I've been in healthcare for 12 years now. FDS has been in, ignored huh? because there is no uh, where, even in the medical school, where it was either documented or written that it exists. That is where we misdiagnosed because we had inadequate information back from school and even now when we are practicing. Specifically, the challenge that uh, I've, I've faced is uh, women not wanting to come to the facility to seek medical attention. They have that fear that if they come to the facility, then people will think they uh, have a sexually transmitted infection. So they tend to look for uh, traditional um, herbs uh, to get treated. I'm uh, Willis Onyango. I uh, first learned about FDS four years ago. We had uh, formal training with one of our partners in VCT. So we participated in the training of community health workers and uh, that is when we started working seriously on FDS. Cisosomiasis uh, is endemic in Homer Bay because of the presence of the vector snails, because of misdiagnosis, they're recording uh, low numbers, but that doesn't mean it is not there. I'm optimistic with the continuous sensitization that we've been doing. We've gotten a positive um, outcome where we get girls and even the women coming to the facility to seek uh, medical attention. I was given medication, tablets. I took them. After that, I stayed for almost eight months before going back. And I went again. They told me that the cavities are still there. Then I was given medication again tablets. Then when I went back after six months, they told me that now I'm okay. I went to the hospital that is Mbita, some county hospital. That's where I found a very friendly nurse. Then after screening, she talked to me 
to a language I couldn't understand. I was not in fear. I knew I'm in safe hands. She explained to me about bilharzia and its effect when uh, left unchecked. And then after that, they also tested me for HIV. And now I'm not living near the lake, so like, they have to supply me with water. I normally leave it for one to two days before use. Yes, and if, I, if at all I want to bathe, I have to boil it. Each and every time I meet new people, the, the same conversation always comes up. I want them to know more about it.